There it goes. enough to do that. Unbelievable. The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. The lodges and resorts in Ontario are waiting to welcome you back once we can travel again safely. So stay tuned as watching this episode is almost as good as being there. You know, Ontario's got so many gravel roads, so many tr walking trails for grouse. It's just, it's just endless. I mean, miles and miles. I mean, if you want to get on good grouse hunting, Northwest Ontario is a perfect place to come and get your birds. And you know what? Spend time with your dog. She's, she's on the trail. Good girl. Got it. Go get it, girl. Go get it! Go get it! Pitch it up! Pitch it up! Pitch it up! Good girl! Bring it here! Bring it here! Come on! Bring it here! Yes! Come on, girl! Yes, you did it, Ricky! Come here, girl! Her first retreat! <laughs> that is so awesome! Good girl! That is so awesome! I mean, this is a proud moment for me. As a dog owner, like I said, it's, it's like your, your child taking its first steps, in my opinion. Some people don't understand that. People that love dogs and, and really think of them as a family member do get that, so super cool. Come on, Ricky. Good girl. Come on. Got something for you. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. I've got a son at home that's 11 years old. But a year and a half ago, we decided, you know what, if you're gonna get into hunting, I'm gonna get my son into hunting, let's go get a dog. And he was really all about getting a dog. So we went through the whole process of doing the research, finding a, a really good breeder. We went to the breeder, we, they had two pups. We got, we got the choice of two females. He didn't necessarily choose her, but she chose him. She crawled up in his lap, not once, but twice. So, you know what, this was the one for us. She is now my son Tyson and my true hunting dog. And she's got it figured out. She's only, like I said, she's not even two years old, so that's pretty cool. There it goes. Fetch it up, girl. Fetch it up. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. There we go. Hey, we're on the birds today. Ricky is retrieving. It's so cool just to see what their, what their eyes actually light up like a little kid when they get the whiff of the grouse. Yeah, it was here, wasn't it? So when you see a grouse, or you miss a grouse, it's no different than getting a foul by a muskie, right? Do a figure eight and you miss them? That's what I'm going with. Yeah, got it, Ricky. Go get it. Go get it, girl. Where is it? There it is. Good girl. There you go. Gil? Oh, perfect. This dog has a softest mouth. It's a nice thing. No meat's gonna get ruined. Good job, she's old hat now. 
She's old hat now. Yeah. If you want to hunt grouse, you need to get a hold of Wayne and Lydia at North Country Lodge because there are so many of these birds around here in Northwest Ontario. And they taste delicious. <laughs> My dog Ricky and I couldn't have been more excited for our first morning grouse hunt of our fall cast and blast stay at Ranch of Seine River Lodge. They've got tons of huntable land <laughs> and birds everywhere. Get him up, Ricky! Fetch him up! Go get her! Go get it! Fetch it up! Fetch it up, girl! Go get it! Fetch it up! Fetch it up! Good girl! Bring it here! Come! Come! Good girl! Good girl! Come on! Come on! Good girl! Nice job! Sweet! Look at there! <laughs> you know, we actually came up here last year on her first hunt. First grouse hunt. Now, this is a tradition for us. We're going to come back every year. She actually cut her teeth on grouse in Ontario. And now look at that. She's already, <laughs> already an old hat. Right away, right away in the morning, first day first grouse. We're going to get a few of these today and we're going to get back to camp. We're going to get back to Branches St. River Lodge and we're going to cook some of these up. These are my favorite bird by, by far. They're so delicious. So first one of the day, bud. Good job. Way to get it up. Oh, I hear another, I hear another bird. No, no, no. Go get it. Fetch it up. Go get it. Fetch it up, girl. <laughs> This is awesome. I actually shot that bird. <laughs> she went and got it. Grouse make a super distinct sound. It actually, it's a beep, 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 beep. We're kind of do, kind of talk about what we just did. I, I hear this one behind us. Turn around, this thing's running through the woods. Boom, two grouse just like that back to back. Come on, girl, go get it. Fetch it up, fetch it up. <laughs> this is so cool. Love watching my dog find these birds and retrieve them. Fetch him up, girl, fetch it up. Yes, <laughs> I love this. Good girl, nice job. Again, it's so crazy. So I equate watching your dog work, which is uh, simply amazing watching these, because it's the nose, trust the nose. Trust the nose like you trust your, your hummingbird electronics, right, your sonar. When you see her eyes go brighten up and her nose and she goes, starts going crazy, trust their dog because they have got it built in. Good job, buddy. Let's go get a couple more. We just hit the end of the trail. We're heading back. It was probably about a 45 minute walk. So one thing to keep in mind on these trails, these birds are not stationary. They're moving all the time. They're looking for food. So hunt it on the way back as well. You might be hunting at a little faster pace, but I'm actually watching her most of the time anyway. When I see her ears perk up and her eyes and her nose really start working, you know there's a bird in the area, but uh, don't, don't miss out on, on your trip back out of that same trail because by the time we get back to the, the, where those birds were, it's probably another 40 minutes. So there might be birds, I've, more times than not, I've seen birds coming out just as well as I've, had, I've seen them coming in. So let's keep working, girl, come on. We've already got a few, we got a couple more to get. The nice thing about Ontario is you can sh shoot five a day and you can, uh, for, your, for your limit, but you get 15 in possession. So if you're up here all week, the beauty of going to Branches, St. River Lodge is you can, you can hunt for three days and, or hunt as many days as you want, but you, need, you can get up to 15. Then you get to go fishing. What I wanna do is I wanna hunt in the mornings and actually go fishing in the evenings. So kind of split up the day, the best of both worlds. You can't beat it. Branches Seine River Lodge is a per perfect operation to do exactly that. So we got a good start. We got three in the truck. Get it, girl. Fetch it up. Okay, let's go find it. It's over here somewhere. Ricky, right over there. Fetch it up. It's over here somewhere. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Oh, there it is. Good girl. Perfect. Fetch. Come. 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 Good girl. Nice, way to find it. That's exactly why you, you bring a dog because 
I don't know if I would have found that bird. I, I, I knew I winged it. Sometimes what happens is you wing them, and they hit the ground, and they just take off running. But like I said, I knew that I put it down. But there was three birds, so there's probably another one or two around here. So, oh, there goes. Got it, got it, get it, girl, get it. Good girl, come, come, come. That a girl, we treated it, didn't we? Good, give, give, nice job. Typically, these aren't very pressured birds and they don't go very far, but she kicked it up and I knew that, typically what happens is nice having a, a dog is they, they won't go far, sometimes they get treed. And when you're talking early season, Ontario, Sunset Country, it is so thick out here, so you, you kind of take your uh, take your spots where you can get them. And uh, these are great tasting birds, and I don't want to miss any opportunity. So she did a great job. She did her job. I end up doing mine. Catch him up! Catch up, girl! Go get it! You know what? I really, really love hunting mornings because of the moist moisture on the ground and I like hunting uh, rain. Again, because of the moisture, it actually holds the scent longer of these birds for the dog. So she'll pick up that scent easier and longer because again, it stays longer because of the moisture. But I've always had some of my best days during rain, but also mornings because it's like I said, it, you get that moisture and she, she picks them up, picks that scent up early. But Great start of the day, day two. Sweet. Let's go find some more, Ricky. We've had some amazing grouse hunting this week. Sunset Country of Ontario has some of the best grouse hunting anywhere. You know what else is some of the best grouse hunting anywhere? Branches, Seine River Lodge. They've got great grouse hunting and amazing multi-species fishing as well. They've got it all. Hey, we've had a great week. Good job. Let's get back and get packed up and head out tomorrow morning. I'm up here in Sunset Country of Ontario a great place to come up and get grouse. In fact, we got our limit today. Um, I want to show you a great way to prepare grouse, my favorite way by far. And it's really simple. So you take the breasts out of the grouse, right? Super simple again. Take it out, and this is really all you have left. Really no waste at all. My favorite way to do it is the simplest way. It was something my parents taught me when I was a kid. I still love it today. It's definitely my favorite game bird to eat by far. So let me show you. Again, a simple way to, to prepare it, you'll t it takes five minutes. So let's get this started. All it is, throw some butter on, in a hot pan. Take breasts. It's just a, you know, it's the same stuff I use for, for cooking fish, just a fish batter, whatever, like, I mean, I fish uh, fry magic or shoreline, it doesn't really matter. It's all, it's more about getting the seasoning in there. We're just. Get a little bit of seasoning and water is what I prefer because if you use egg, it gets just way too thick and overbearing. So just roll it in the batter and throw in the hot butter. It's not grease, it's not oil, it's butter. So I mean, that's kind of, <laughs> right? It, just, it seems unhealthy, but again, it's super delicious. So again, it maybe takes you five minutes. You're, you're cooking it over a medium heat. This is, your, this is your finished product. You know, when I was a kid in, in, uh, in Minnesota, and I'm still from there, but when I was younger, the gross population was on an all-time high. We don't have that population anymore, and that's why I come up to Sunset Country of Ontario, because the population is through the roof. It literally took us till noon today to get our limit, which is five, but the end product is this. Oh, man. That's why I come up here, because I need more of this. Grouse is by far my favorite game bird to eat. So good.
Get Ricky! Heck yeah. <laughs> good see it. Good girl. Bring it here, girl. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Good girl. First part of the day. Good job, Ricky. <laughs> was on it. Jer spotted it. Actually, Ricky saw it running and got up and towards the trees and we shot it, Ricky, right Sweet. away. First part of the day. But my good friend Jer, he hasn't been hunting in how many years? Oh, it's been a long time since I've hunted birds, so this is fun. It's cool to see the countryside up here. It's beautiful. The leaves are spectacular now and I haven't been at it long and got one, so. We actually got a little bit of snow last night and it's supposed to snow off and on today. Beautiful day in Sunset Country of Ontario where the grouse are plentiful. Yeah. First cool. one of the day, let's get back. Get Going a couple more. It. Yeah. Sweet. Good job, Ricky. Oh, she's, she's on something. She's on something. There goes. Nice shot, yeah. Jer. Sweet. Nice shot. Dropped him on the fly. Sweet. Right first shot, first kill. I haven't shot boy, the grouse Jer. in years and got him. Oh, boy. Good go. girl. Look at that. First chicken, one shot. I'm pretty impressed. I was going to go do a little trap shooting, but I got caught up in fishing ahead of time. So. Still got it. I used to hunt pheasants as a kid all the time, so kind of brings me back to my youth, just walking, getting some birds. Thanks, Ty. That was super fun. Oh, cool. Nice shot. Ricky, get him. Punch him up. Good you girl. Right you just catch it in the I just caught it out of the corner of my eye standing. That's free. a beautiful bird Come, there. Bring it here. Nice job, Ricky. That's actually a nice adult bird. Look at the length of the tail. That's how you can tell. Youth birds have real short tails yet. That is cool. That's a nice bird right there. Actually, so we were just walking back. We've already walked on this trail. That's what Jerry and I was talking about. He asked me, do you see a lot of birds coming out? And I mean, those birds are always moving. We were probably at this juncture 40 minutes ago. Yeah. So there, there it was, right at the tree. Heck yeah. Well, we've got a few. We're taking good turns. I think we should go fishing. I think so. We're going to head back to Temple Bay Lodge, get all of our hunting gear off, and yeah. get, our, get our fall gear on for fishing. Go we'll see if we can chase a big old musk. Yeah, see if we can get a musk. This is a good program. Hunt, hunt some chickens in the morning and go try to catch a big musky in the afternoon. Who doesn't love that? A little cast and blast. Yeah, Let's go, fun. Ricky. This is cool. Beautiful country. It's fun walking up here. Spend so much time on the lake and you never see what the, you know, the bush has to offer. And it's beautiful back in here. It's really cool. Go get him! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl. Hey, you know, I've said it time and time again, that is exactly why you have a dog. This was probably 25, 30 yards back and she found something and she stayed on it this whole way. She worked this back little mossy area. And when they know that they've got a bird on their nose, they will not give up and she actually treed this for me. Otherwise, I never would have got a shot at it. It's so thick back here, but. She did a great job. Good job, Ricky. Watch up, Ricky. Ricky, go get it. Go get it, girl. Cool, there's a spruce. Spru I've never shot one of those. That's my first spruce grouse. They're a cool know. bird. They're smaller. Yeah. You can tell it by the different tail. Three feet, too. Three feet. You got a different tail. They are actually have a brown meat. He's got that little red patch on his eye. Yep. Cool. Cool bird. They look just like it. If you were to like drive by it, you'd think it's a, a rough grouse, but the, they are different. Uh, again, they're they're dark meat as opposed to rough being a lighter meat, and in my opinion, the rough are a better tasting bird, but I think if you can throw that in a crock pot or something like that, it'd oh, yeah. be really, really good. Yeah, wild game is all good if it's prepared appropriately, so yeah, if you say it's a little darker, just try a different recipe than you might do with the rough. But you bet, absolutely. It's going to be great. Let's go throw it in the truck. <laughs> three shots, three dead birds. Look at this. Popped in. Was lucky enough to do that. Unbelievable. Go get Ricky! 
It is thick grass. She had her nose burled into the grass. Actually got that grouse up out of that grass. It's just been a phenomenal morning. Give, get good girl. Right there is number five for the day. That didn't take too long, did it? Done by noon. Again, you get five a day, 15 in possession. So we can keep hunting. We got a few more, a couple more days to hunt. So just remember the wildlife will be waiting for you in Ontario when we are able to travel again safely.